Welcome back to the AmeriCorps Surgeons Bulletin Brief from the Frontline Surgeons Voices. Here with me today are four friends and colleagues from the American College of Surgeons to discuss the very important uh, conference summit that was held this past week, uh, a virtual summit, of course, given the COVID limitations. And we want to hear a little bit more about the diversity, equity, and inclusion, and anti-racism summit that was held on June 23rd. I'd like to start out uh, inviting Dr. Nancy Gant to describe the evolution of this event. In the summer of 2020, the American College of Surgeons, in reaction to multiple events, including the death of George Floyd, convened a, task, a regental task force on racial issues. And this task force was chaired by the incoming president of the ACS, Dr. Wayne Meredith. And Dr. Meredith felt very strongly that to serve all with skill and fidelity, which is the motto of the ACS, we needed to have skill and fidelity in matters of race. So the task force released the recommendations after weekly meetings in November of 2020, and they were published in the ACS bulletin on January 8th of 2021. And there were five focus areas that the task force felt were essential a just and inclusive environment, cultural competency, diversity in the workforce, public health research, and advocacy and legislative reform. So this conference was convened to work on diversity in the workforce. We felt that the ACS as the convener, as the house of surgery, would serve as a wonderful leader to bring all of these groups together and see what everyone was doing in the DEI field and develop eventually best practices to lead at all levels to a more diverse workforce. Well, thank you very much. And, and you were very instrumental in getting this event uh, off the ground in planning it. Uh, and I've uh, enjoyed, uh, been privileged to hear several of your reports, including to the governors recently about the work that went into it. Um, just to give an idea of the scope, uh, uh, over 100 surgical organizations and societies from US and Canada were invited and in fact participated, uh, each of whom I believe were asked to send uh, an officer such as the president uh, and uh, an executive such as a chief executive or executive director uh, to the meeting, but may have sent others. So it's really a Herculean task to pull these people together at relatively short notice and keep everybody's attention. But as you say, it is the house of surgery. Uh, now, part of what keeps people's attention from the house of surgery, diverse backgrounds, virology, neurosurgery, uh, colorectal surgery, and everything else, uh, having a great keynote address uh, uh, with interaction, in this case, with fireside chat. So I, I'd like to ask Dr. Chapman if you could maybe review for people who aren't fortunate enough to be present on, on June 23rd, the, the nature of the uh, keynote address and, and the fireside chat. Well, thank you, Steve. I was present as the representative from the Southern Surgical Association. And, you know, our group is a relatively small society, and we formed a DEI task force. We've been looking at ways to, you know, how can we improve our diversity and workforce in this area? Now, the kickoff was really very enlightening and was impressive. Professor Kendi from Boston University, who's not a surgeon, but who's had a, a lot of experience, his own personal experience, dealing with stage four colorectal cancer, which he was very open to discuss, talked about his experiences involving himself. And as a patient, his wife is a physician, so he, he had a lot of insight into things that occur in the healthcare field. And, you know, I think it, it really hit, it hit home with me. And I think it probably hit home in a very strong way with surgeons on the call. And, you know, what he's saying is that we've got a wide range of expertise in the field of surgery. And we all know that we've got experts in every domain, but they're not really available across the board. And he talked about his experiences going to a predominantly minority institution for a stage four colon cancer, how that workup and experience went, 
And then how it went when he went across town to an institution that really serves more uh, affluent patients and uh, non-minority patients. Um, and they were starkly different. And, you know, to me, you think we have, uh, we think we have uh, great access. We don't uh, uh, shut the door on anybody coming in. And so I think in the background, you know, I think, well, we have great access. We'll take anybody. We don't look at the paycheck. We don't look at their finances, but on the other hand, uh, I know these institutions uh, are quite different. And, and the way our structure is set up, uh, patients don't have similar access. So this was a, a, a really um, great start. And then um, uh, Professor Wayne Frederick, uh, president of Howard University, a surgeon, uh, led a fireside chat. And what was really great about that was he um, asked some very insightful questions. And Professor Kendi really, um, you know, he gives a, a, a balanced but clear message of the problems that face um, those in our, in our workplace. He was talking more about uh, minority, um, individuals, African American uh, individuals, of the, especially in the professional space, especially the lack of them in professional space. Uh, but I think it applied um, broadly, also. And you know, you'd see the same uh, analogies in uh, diversity more broadly. So uh, that, however long that uh, took, I bet it was an hour and a half. I think the audience, uh, at least I was, you know, it took couple more hours, it would have been fine. It was really uh, insightful. Well, th thanks very much, Will. Um, and following on the, the keynote address in the fireside chat, we then broke into our, our, our work groups, which included a broad representation of, of people from many different uh, mm -hmm. societies and organizations. And, and each of you was a group leader, which is why you're here with me today. Uh, so you all led your discussions and then came back with reports. So the next question is based upon the very stimulating presentation and conversation that we just heard about, uh, we then were charged up uh, and charged with going to uh, answer some questions. So, so Dr. Melinger, could you tell us a little bit about uh, who you represented, maybe some of the other people in your work group, and what were the questions uh, discussed and, and some of the potential uh, areas of, of need identified? Thank you, Dr. Wexner. And I had the privilege of being one of the representatives for the American Board of Surgery this year. Uh, and our work group, like the others, was uh, constituted with a really diverse group of leaders from different societies. We had representatives from the uh, oral maxillofacial group, from uh, the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology, from uh, the Transplant Surgical uh, Society, from uh, Pediatric Surgical Society uh, and uh, from the college. And uh, it was uh, really a, an invigorating discussion. Uh, I think the questions we were given to frame the conversation for each of the groups were wonderful ones. Um, the first was for each of us to describe what our organizations had been doing in the diversity, equity and inclusion space. And uh, uh, in, uh, specifically on the theme of anti-racism. And then we were asked to prioritize the things that came out of that discussion into a top three. Uh, and finally, uh, we were asked, uh, what could the college do as this amazing convening organization with broad reach across all the surgical specialties uh, and, and global reach? Um, as a group to help us all uh, learn from one another and optimally apply the lessons we were learning. Obviously there's not time in our conversation today to go into all the things that came out of that, but a couple of things that really impacted me both in the experience I had in our organization that I was representing with the American Board of Surgery and in our conversation 
as Dr. Chapman's already alluded to, um, listening to Dr. Kennedy and then talking together, uh, are the power of storytelling in moving us at the level of our hearts and not just our heads around the challenges we face. Um, Dr. Kendi's story, as Dr. Chapman alluded to, was very moving about his own walk through stage four colon cancer, which he was incredibly transparent about. And that was a huge part of um, what we learned in our American Board of Surgery work, that listening to the stories, particularly of our Black colleagues who had been through our training programs, functioned in our academic and, and clinical centers, and had indeed endured tremendous obstacles around themes of racism and inequity uh, and were at our elbows. Uh, and in fact, were people we were looking up to and referring to and relying upon was incredibly moving uh, about the fact that this is an issue for the House of Surgery uh, and it has implications for how we deliver care to our patients, our ultimate goal. That disparity scheme and how representation of diverse groups in the workforce translates into the care we provide to our patient population, something the pandemic has brought into great focus um, this past year was a key thing that, that bubbled up. Uh, and then we also uh, got into the area of intentionality in our group. Uh, the, the fact that these things don't just go away, we can't wish them away, we can't put plaques on the wall, we can't just hire somebody and say, it's your job to help us do this that actually we have to weave this into the fabric of our organizations in standing agendas and reporting mechanisms in metrics that we're monitoring and adjusting to who's on a podium, who's on a panel, who gets appointed to a leadership role um, and, and getting proximal in the process, uh, the pipeline. This was a huge point of discussion as well. And then I'll, I'll just conclude Dr. Wexner with this, that I think one of the things I found really wonderful about what the college did in convening this group was again, the diversity of groups represented across the entire house of surgery. And the fact we realized how much we could learn from one another and that the college could be a convening place and a collecting center for best practices, toolkits that were being developed, many strategies to help us gain traction and quickly move into action and not just learning about this. So uh, deep thanks to, to you and Nancy and uh, Dr. Levin and all of the colleagues there who helped make this possible. Well, thank you very much. And, and thanks, for the, thanks for those specific insights. So based upon all of this information, uh, Dr. Wong, maybe you could share with us, number one, who you represented, number two, what are the next steps, both for the college as the convener of the House of Surgery, as for the individual particular societies, especially the one uh, who, you, who you were representing on June 23rd? Yeah, thank you very much. So I was so fortunate to represent the Society of Surgical Chairs. And I will say that I think many of us brought our individual views, but it was really nice to see broad representation from you know, local and regional societies, many big national organizations, and so many leaders from the college itself. I think it really was, as Dr. Mellinger was saying, you know, really great opportunity to convene. And he highlighted a lot of the kind of common themes. But I will say, I think one of the great things about the way this was structured was the ability to have these small breakout groups. Because I think not only did we kind of see a lot of the commonalities across what all the groups were doing, but it, you know, I think we all realized that everybody's pretty deeply committed to this. And I think when groups shared what they were doing and the challenges that we all faced, the recognition that we have a lot of work to do and that working together, we're going to do it better. It was really an opportunity to learn from each other. And I think a great opportunity to set the stage for the future because working together across groups, but understanding that we all represent the House of Surgery was really the great thing. I will tell you that a lot of the comments that we heard, not only in the breakout groups, but also when we got back together and reported out, was an appetite to have more of these convening functions. And I think that's going to be a large function of how the college can pull different groups together. This is a 
topic that will require a lot of work. Um, I think there will be a lot of appetite to participate. And I think together we'll see the, the progress here. So I, I think in terms of next steps, it will be to continue the momentum. There were so many active participants and um, this follow-up discussion, I think is just a harbinger of the work that will continue to happen. Yeah, I, I won't uh, reiterate some of the points, but it was really nice to see, um, quite frankly, a lot of the commonalities that a lot of the groups are doing. That really, I think, solidified where we are and where we will be going. Thank you very much for, for your insights and, and reflections today. Thanks everyone for your contributions to the college on, on, on June 23rd. And, and thanks in advance for what I know will be a lot more contributions from you individually and the societies you represent as the college continues to, as Dr. Wong just says, continues to convene and continues to get people to collaborate and sit around the table working on common themes. That is absolutely the job of the American College of Surgeons. Uh, everybody has their own niche and their own interests, but the commonality is such as this one is when everyone rallies together and says, yes, we do share a need to solve this problem. And the wisdom of the crowd is, is the way to do it. The more people around the table, the more diverse the groups, the quicker we will be able to implement the solution and the better that solution will be, the more it will be accepted and the more successful and durable it will be. So thanks everybody for your time today and look forward to continuing to work together.